Hello guys, it's Grown Man Gaming, getting things done the Grown Man way. I have another amazing Madden 16 Ultimate Team video for you guys. They released all Madden pack guys, all Madden packs, my bad. And they have a bundle, so I figured, why not just do this? So, I'm going to be opening the, the bundle, and this time, um, it is not going to be clickbait. Whatever it is, I will, I mean like, I am a truthful person, I was not trying to be... I was not trying to be sketchy on the last video, guys. I put the question marks there for a reason. Thought it was, you know, good, but nonetheless, here we go. Um, the, in the topper, you do get a random Team of the Week Elite player with a chance at um, a Team of the Week hero set. And I'm hoping so bad I can pull this week's hero. It's Ryan Shazier. We'll go over the cards and stats later on in this video, but let's get into this pack opening, guys. So we start off with a Raiders away jersey, then we get a Bengals offensive um, or defense, what Bengals playbook. We get this Libyan guy. We get ba another Bengals, um, the ba Bengals stadium. We get Jason Hatcher. We get Kerry Wynn for the Giants. We get Sterling Moore, John Harbaugh. Then we get McGee, and then we get Chris Hogan. So our first pack wasn't that bad, um, but let's continue to go on. No matter what we get in this pack, guys, I always like to say I don't care. I still have Jesus Christ as my savior, and that's all that matters. I, of course, I hope I pull like the the 24-hour card or one of the elites that go into the sets. But hey, I'm fine with whatever I get. So let's continue. We pulled Anthony Fasano. We get Sims. We get. Jack Thompson, which probably will go for like 2k, so it still doesn't matter. We have one more thing, and I don't think it's the player. So we get Chuck Pagano, we're happy about that. So next pack, you guys, we are going to get Colt Anderson for the Colts. Colt Anderson, that's quite hilarious to me. I know I'm not laughing, but that is actually humorous. Colt Anderson, and he plays for the Indianapolis Colts. And it's actually a pretty bad card, but hey, he still has a good name for his team. We pull Richard Rodgers, then we go in and get the Eagles jersey, we get the Raiders stadium, we get LaRon Landry, we got a bunch of quotes players. And that actually guy actually goes into the Team of the Week set, so the, uh, the upgrade. So we get Antoine Blake, let's check out his stats. We got 95 speed, 95 excel, 91 man. Guys, that's a pretty good card if you compare it to the, to the Trey Waynes that they just released. So, we're going to go over that later on. But hey, we get Branch, we get Bell, Branch and Bell, we get Irving, we get Ron Rivera, we get Bradley Roby. Okay, so we already have his completed set. We've done, we did that for about, I want to say 8K. I got some snipes on him. We got Deion Lewis, which I'll probably quick sell. Um, that's why I'm gonna sell him. But um, yeah, Bradley Roby, he's a beast. We get Trevathan for the same team as Roby, which is actually a, a funny coincidence. You know, just the 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 way. Never mind. Continue. Um, you get Dinnard. We got the White Lowry. We got Ellington. We got Lysamore. I believe that's how you say his name. We got Fair Whitehead. And there's a Whitehead. Yeah, Whitehead. He plays for the Lions, and then we get Mike Patine, who is currently unemployed. We get Robinson, and we pull Stefan Gilmer. So that is the first elite that we get. We are happy because of that. He goes for like 18K, I do believe, so that's extremely good. We get Dixon. We get Max Garcia. That's a team or football outsider. We can sell him for however many amount of coins, but that's great. We got our first elite, guys, out of this pack. Hopefully that is the first and many. We get Ron Rivera again. We get Cowboys offense. We get Ben Jarvis Mingo. We get Johnson. We get Hill. We get Patriot Stadium. What else can we get? We get Bill Riddick, another Lions play. We got Haha Clinton Dix. We have like pulled three Sheffner stars, guys. And we have three more packs left. So we have to get something done. Hopefully we do pull the 24 hour or one of those elites. If we don't. Hey, nonetheless, we get 49ers. So, oh, man, we pull Aaron Donald. Let's go. That is fantastic. Alan Hearns, our fourth um, Sheffner star. But, hey, you guys, we got Aaron Donald. He goes for, like, another 18K. That is fantastic. Yes, we are. The, the pools are getting better. Hopefully, we're going to, I mean, like, it's just heating up. Hopefully, in its end, we will have pulled a 24-hour card or an elite that goes into this set. Because that Ryan Chazier, guys, his that card is nasty, guys. It's just flat-out crazy. It's a card you want on your team, and I want on my team, and I'm probably going to try to pick up at some point of this year because it's just flat-out ridiculous. 
so we don't get an elite there, but we do get PJ Clemmings. He's 82 overall, full by outsider. Can we can we clutch it out, guys? Can we clutch this out? We get I don't even know David Johnson. The the let's go Michael Floyd. We get two um um Cardinals back to back. David Johnson and Michael Mal, did I say Michael Floyd? Malcolm Floyd? Is it Malcolm? Is, I forgot. It doesn't matter. We get Floyd. It's a great pool, you guys. We pulled three elites here, and that that's fine with us. We're gonna go open the a few more packs right here. Um, we're gonna yeah a few more packs. We're gonna open this one. Hopefully we pull the the um the elite or not the elite the 24 hour card or one of the elites. Like I said before, I'm talking too fast for me to even understand what I'm saying. And we get two um, gold cards, so we're happy about that. And we get three, we get four, and then we get Burner. I thought this was actually a pro pack, so that's why I said that. But nonetheless, let's get into this pro pack. We get that guy. Hopefully, you guys, um, I mean, this is for the, I know, like I said, last week we're going to do one per, per week in honor of the um, Richard Sherman, and then we didn't end up getting him, so we're going to actually do two, and then this won't have anything to do with that new tradition we're going to be doing, but later on in the video, I'm going to be opening one more pack to, you know, complete that, so we don't get anything in the pro packs, nothing like crazy good, but hey, we still get something, now let's go actually look at the cards after we buy this pack and then we do the, the topper. So one more pack. This is the pack for um, Earl Thomas. Actually, no, it's not. We'll probably do one later. Nonetheless, or even if we don't do another one later, I mean, we, we can say this one is in honor of that thing. So we have a chance at another card, guys, because that was under 74. And we ended up getting Todd Gurley, so let's just move right to the topper. Hopefully, we can pull the, the set hero. You guys, we gotta get something. We get Kawan Short. Okay, he's. I don't know anything about his price. His stats are decent at best. So, um, hey, that happens in a, in a pack opening. We're blessed. We're purely blessed. But let's move on. To the actual set cards and set players you guys and it's gonna you know team of the week week or not team not week it's the wild card version and let's see we're gonna start off with a wild card upgrade and I'm actually gonna do one of these later on in this video so since I did pull Blake I'm going to do another one I'm gonna do the elite upgrade set in the video get Niles Davis 95 speed 89 agility 95 excel and that one actually ended so let's go to the one right under we ended at 95 excel 81 carrying which is too bad for me so i don't suggest you get that card guys the carrying is a huge like part of you, you don't want to fumble it's a huge part of the running back stats and you guys saw the other stats so let's continue i already showed you guys antoine blake's stats earlier in the video now let's look at this uh, what's his name Blech, he plays for the texan simon he has 88 speed 80 strength, 91 excel, 88 tackling, 80 play rec, I, that's, yeah, that's play rec, and then everything else is decent, I'd say, um, if he can play zone, this actually might be a good card, and it doesn't look as if he can play zone or man, so if you guys need better, I don't know, better blitzing linebackers, go and get him, and then you have Thompson here, he is a running back for the Washington Redskins who actually lost and you guys those games were crazy I was rooting for the Redskins to win but they couldn't come out on top I I mean I don't know I was rooting for the Bengals to win and Ray Malaluga did what he did and then I mean it's just so unfortunate for Antonio Brown and, st and stuff you know I don't know if he's gonna be 100% against that crazy Broncos defense um, Akib the lead Chris Harris jr. there's so many guys there so, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's an unfortunate event. I don't know if Maluga did it on purpose or not, but hey, it does happen. Um, the Seahawks won, and I'm actually happy about that. And then they go on to play the Panthers next week. It's going to be Chiefs, Patriots, Broncos, Steelers. And then I'll do like a whole bracket thing at some point in this week. So, um, yeah, so you guys know what I, who I think is going to win each series and then for the NFC it's Seahawks like first Panthers like I just recently mentioned and then you can conclude 
out of what I've just said from the Seahawks game, that is going to be Packers and Cardinals and then the in the other game. So that's it's going to be a great weekend, you guys, next week. So let's see this Raymond Luga. It's a pretty good card. Sorry for me not actually talking over the stats. I kind of got carried away. But hey, nonetheless, you guys, it's a great card. You guys saw the stats. And then you guys have this Devontae Adams. And I really don't know if he deserved the card. It was bad. They should have given it to Alex Smith instead. Nonetheless, he has 92 speed, 93 catching, elusiveness is horrible, spec catch is 95, release is decent, route running is below par, catch and traffic is great, and jumping is great. So, I don't know if he'd have a spot in my team, but hey, there is an audience for everything. So, I mean, if you want him, go and get him. That's not the card I want to pull when I do the player upgrade pack. And you guys have this nil, is it nil? Yep, nope, not yet, Mike nil. He is beastie, in my opinion. 80 speed, strength 94, excel, which is crazy for that position. That's what really is going to get you guys to, your, your players to the, to the quarterback, is the excel and strength. And he has both of them at above 90, so that's a great card. Tackling 90, play rec 83, it's just a great card. Catching isn't the best, but hey... He's going to be getting to the quarterback, so I I would actually pick up this card. Out of the two cards, guys, they're not the two cards, out of the four cards that I can possibly pull, I don't want Mike Mill, and I don't want um, Adams. I do not want the Packers players. I want Trey Waynes or Ray Malaluga, and this Trey Waynes is going for a 60-something K right now. He has 95 speed, 93 excel, agility 89, man coverage is only 88, zone coverage is good, press is 90, play rec um, 80, catch, catch is 75, so there's really no point to get this card unless you want it for the set because the Antoine Blake that I pulled like not too long ago, like what, 10 minutes ago is just as good. He has the same speed, better man, and I think he has like 88 zone, so... I mean, why spend that many coins on him when you can get Antoine Blake? So if you compare him against Rondé Barber, he sucks. If you compare him against Vontae Davis, he sucks. This is a better matchup. That is not the best matchup. The best matchup you can probably get to him, or to you compare Trey Winch to, is Bradley Roby. And in my opinion, Bradley Roby is better because he has way better man and only a couple less zones. So, and better speed, so I don't know. But here are the actual card or the completed set card and I'm gonna go over the 24 hour card is Ryan Shazier he has 94 speed that is ridiculous that is flat out ridiculous you can line him up against any tight end I mean the users are gonna be crazy block shot 92 so he can get to the quarterback as well hit power 95 that's gonna cause a ton of fumbles with that speed I don't know how you can't get this on your team if you have the coins to get it. Um, like if you have 600k, whatever, however much it goes for. I don't understand how you could not pick up this card as you're starting MLB. I mean, the Rising Star is crazy. The Road to the Playoffs is crazy. And this one's even crazier. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy card. And this is actually super disappointing. The the 24 hour card or limited edition is halfback JJ Watt. I mean, 87 speed, agility sucks, sells good, carrying is great, but you don't really want the card unless you put him in on FB, I guess. That's the only way I can see actually having him, but hey, that's it, guys. Um, For the, the actual cards, I'm going to open up one more pack. I decided I'm going to do it. One more pack in honor of the Earl Thomas, and then we're going to go, not the Earl Thomas, the Richard Sherman, and then I'm going to um, do the Elite Player Upgrade Pack, so we're gonna, that's going to be great, and we pull Max, is that Max Garcia, we, I don't know if that's Max Garcia, we got Garcia though, I'm pretty sure, it's the same card I pulled earlier, that's a pull by outside of, we pull Brandon Cooks, and then guys, that's the only thing we're going to pull, so, that is great, and now let's just get right into the, the Elite Player Upgrade Pack, and I hope it's going to be great, because I spent a ton of coins on it, so let's go, um, you guys see I have added all the cards, or the sets to it, all my stuff has sold, 
and let's see what we get guys this is super exciting for me first one of the year and we get trade wins that's what we wanted god bless you guys thank you guys for watching chuck the deuce i'm out and i leave you with the, uh, this outro pieces